Hey there, chicken nuggets, and welcome to Friends in Food. What up, party people, and welcome to the very first episode of Friends in Food. My name is Beulah, and I'm your host for today. For each episode, some friends will cook a simple, budget-friendly, yet mouth-watering meal, and while they eat, they'll talk about different aspects of their friendship based on the theme chosen that week. Now for this week's episode, our guests will be cooking a classic college meal, pasta. This is a dish that most people learn to cook in college because it's easy, cheap, fast, and fills you right up. Click the link in the description below if you want to try the recipe for yourself. It's really good. The topic for this week is first impressions. Let's see how it goes. We just got our delivery for friends and food. I'm excited. Wow, a mystery box. <laughs> All right, let's All check right. it out. There's, There's bread. bread. Classic. Brown beef, mozzarella cheese. It looks like we're making some spaghetti. She's getting the bowls out. <laughs> Put the meat in. Yes, Kim, do the meat. We're gonna make meatballs. Parmesan, going in. Fresh from the zone. Like almonds? Be That's why there's so much garlic powder. <laughs> it was for the bread. <laughs> you were only the Are first you serious? To put one eighth of a teaspoon <laughs> in What here. are you doing? <laughs> oh no. So we're gonna have really garlicky meatballs. Oh, and some of that parsley was supposed to go to me. It's okay. Thanks. Serena, what you doing? This is correct, I right? Yes, yes, two butter table. in a pan. <laughs> nice. What's the feeling, Kim? As you're, um, it's pretty squishy. Oh, we need some pretty squishy. Yeah. Hey, Jackie. Yeah. We got all this butter, <laughs> the parsley, <laughs> and the onion. No, the garlic. This is garlic bread. The garlic powder have been mixed in. Now we just need to cut the bread and put this on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush this. So as I'm doing this, I'm just trying to make sure that there aren't uncoated spots like kind of here or here. We didn't put the breadcrumbs in the meatballs. Nothing happened. Everything is okay. Yeah, just all, all of it. it yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Measure? It says right here. No? <laughs> one cup. One cup. Is that one cup? I mean, this looks like one cup. We just tilt the bowl. Tilt this the bowl. This is supposed to be the easiest recipe we could do. All right, what does the audience think of these meatballs? Let us know in the comments below. I'm just gonna get this out of here because we don't need that. Drew, tending the meatballs. They are uh, maintaining their shape, which is a good sign. Sometimes they fall apart. Even though they are 28 times, it's not dry. Like I like it spicy. Rinse out. College hats. <laughs> never waste. Never waste your tomato sauce. Don't ever you... waste your tomato sauce. How'd the cheese turn out? Um. Well, I'm just putting cheese on this one, and I like to put a lot of cheese because I know Jackie likes a lot of cheese. So. I do. But these are. Ooh. Deliciousness. The spag. The meatballs. These are the results. Yeah, we're, already we're nice and cozy. It's so cozy. Here's our completed plate. That's what we're eating today. Friends and food. Your topic this week is first impressions. Warm up activity. Give each person some coloring pencils <laughs> and a paper. Each person should draw a picture of one of the other friends. Okay. We already know who's good at drawing, and that's not me. <laughs> so I figured that if I draw you guys, try to draw you guys as you are right now, it'll just be three of the same picture. <laughs> it's just three guys with glasses. The only thing is if I actually focus in on the glasses, and draw the difference in the glasses. On the left, we have Colby. It's like Finn from Up. Okay, so I drew Kayla. Oh, she's wearing like her it. Nike shirt with like the cardigan over it. And then she's holding like a, a, a plant leaf. This is her laptop and it's open on Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> I drew Kim. 
And I thought she was a senior because she mm. just looked like she knew what she was doing. But later I found out she had no idea what was happening. <laughs> this is her Gavin shirt, her ripped yeah. jeans, mm -hmm. and then this is her fluffle jargon. Oh, oh my yeah, god. Fluffle jargon. Fluffle jargon. Fall raven. <laughs> can't, can't, like the bag. Yeah, yeah those bags. bags probably a lot of basic people use. Up next, conversation starter cards. Question one. What were your first impressions of each other? Well, me and Andrew were roommates. Freshman year, random, and we got placed together. First impressions had to be over that email exchange we had. Yes. And he introduced himself, said hi, and then reserved the top bunk. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, this guy. My first impression was Coldy. My first impression was Coldy. Coldy comes over with what, like a box of donuts from Paint Pin. Mm -hmm. Since Coldy came over, like, we got no studying done or something. It was just really distracting. I think first because it, his laugh is just so loud. It's funny, I, the thing is, I didn't even know this. Um, <laughs> I just remember going there, bringing donuts. Nobody wanted any, and I was like, oh, I have to eat these. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought Jane was really talkative. Uh, what? Because she kept talking about history. The first time we met. Wait, really? So it was like the first weekend. Uh, like after like a church service and then she was like, oh, I live in unit one or two or something. Unit one. Unit one and then so I was like, oh, like I'll just walk with you. I was like, oh, what are you intending on majoring? And and then she was like, history. And I was like, whoa, that's really cool. And then she was like, yeah, I'm really interested in like Korean history, but like there aren't that many professors. And she just like kept talking and I was like, whoa, that is she talks a lot. something I would say. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was scared. <laughs> I feel like Serena's more reserved oh, when she first meets yeah. someone. Yeah. And so I was like, I can't read her. <laughs> but then, now I feel like you can totally read her. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, maybe not all the time. What do you think it takes to get to really know someone? I think it takes times of opening up and showing weakness. One thing I think that is really deep in our relationship is being willing to share about struggles that I'm going through or, or like different bad times in my life. I think what it takes to really know somebody is understanding like not only the good characters characteristics about them but also being exposed to um, sometimes negative things. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's just a fuller picture of like a human. Just knowing these things and yet still choosing to like have that friendship I think is mm -hmm. like the deepest form of like knowing each other. I think that's why when you go through like a big struggle together that's when you really get to know people because all the really like sensitive and negative and like bad mm -hmm. feelings like or how you deal with that situation really comes up like, like you still manage to struggle together and then when you overcome that you're like now we just really bonded. Mm -hmm. Yeah what do you think about the validity of first impressions in general? I, if I had based my first impression on <laughs> Serena, I would have just been scared of her forever. Yeah. But that's not true, I'm not scared of you. The next one is, what's something you've done to get to know someone better? My favorite things to do is just get food with people. One time I was trying to get to know one of my friends, his name is Emmett. He bought for me and then I was Venmoing him. And instead of Venmoing him $7, I accidentally Venmoed him $700. But he gave it back, and we got to know each other better. And I, I knew he wouldn't steal my money anymore. I think one thing that helps in college is like taking classes together. Part of it is like when you do something hard together, um, you just have a level of like camaraderie and like we're we're in this together. We're gonna suffer together. I think the the, the most challenging classes I've, I've taken at uh, in, in college, I, I, I always remember like the people I took them with as well. Um, I think more so than the content of the course. <laughs> it has to be, or it doesn't have to be, but like very intentional, like one-on-one -on -one time with somebody, I think, to get to know them. Like group settings are good too, but I think like for me, how I got closer to a lot of people was like going to a cafe with them, like one-on-one, -on -one, like, and it would even be like, oh, like, do you want to study together? But then we get there and I'm like, let's talk. <laughs> Kim does love her cafes. Yeah. Now we know what she does at them. <laughs> <laughs> No, I thought she went to like study. <laughs> oh man, we never studied together. Like me, Kim and Jane are freshman year at least. You know what? We like never studied. <laughs> yeah, and just to review the meal. Oh. Uh -huh. Feel free to use whatever rating system. Let's do one to five stars. One, two, three. <laughs> Dang! Dang! <laughs> Harsh credit here. Oh. Oh. Do you see this? So much of her meal is love. <laughs>
Because I'm a, I like I really like spaghetti sauce, and I feel yeah. like there could have been more spaghetti oh, yeah. sauce. To say, out of many, out of ten, show the camera how well we stuck to the instructions. One, two, three. How good was it? How good was the food? Like taste wise. One, two, three. <laughs> like the overall meal and conversation. Yeah, the conversation. One, two, three, yeah! I've been friends and food, episode one, signing out. Hope you enjoyed watching the very first episode of Friends and Food. If you thought the spaghetti looked good, click the link in the description for the recipe. And if you and your friends would like to be guests on Friends and Food, sign up below. And don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe for more episodes. Stay awesome, possums.